Hi everyone! Welcome back to another Arts and Crafts session. And for today, we are going to do an owl craft. That's right, the animal with the big eyes and known for being wise. While we make this craft, it's good to be reminded that we have a God who gives wisdom to all who ask. In James 1 verse 5, it says, If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. And of course, where else can we find life's wisdom? It's all in the Bible. And we learn from interacting with other people as we grow in God's wisdom and knowledge. So, let's prepare our materials. This is just an easy craft that you will surely enjoy doing. So first, let's cut our paper lengthwise into half. Get one piece, then we are going to fold it alternately, similar to doing a paper fan. I did a video last time using this technique in paper flowers. Feel free to check that one out. There's a lot of things you can do with this folding technique. Now that we've folded everything, we are going to stick both ends together using the glue. So you might notice that I'm using more force in this pattern now. That is because I'm using a cardstock. So thicker paper requires stronger pressure for the fold and in handling. But you may choose to use any colored paper you have there. Next. We are going to do the eyes, so we will get the white paper and fold it in half, and we are going to draw a circle. Now, we are gonna cut it out. Then, let's draw the big black eyes for our owl. I'd like to make the eyes shimmer, so if you put more white spots, the more sparkly it would look like. Next, let's get the yellow paper, and we are going to do the nose. It's just similar to having a diamond shape. Then, we are going to do the feet by folding this paper into half, and we are going to draw and cut out a heart shape. So I'm gonna put glue here on the middle part so that the circular body would stay on its place or else it might get stretched and we won't have a circle shape anymore. Next, we are going to cut out the ears and they're just triangular shaped. I love that this owl uses basic shapes only to form its parts. Then for the wings, we are gonna need heart shape again. This time, you can make the heart look fuller or bigger. So now, we have the parts, we are ready to stick them in their places. So, there you have it! 
You now have your cute little owl and you can hang it in your room or make it stand on your desk and make more variations in color. The more you make, the more fun it will be. Hope you had fun and please do visit again for another session of Arts and Crafts soon. See you!